I'm going to add quantum physics to my lectures and movies. Everybody talks about it. Apparently, apparently you can prove everything with it. Uh, UFOs, space travel, other dimensions, where do my socks go in the washing machine? Uh, if you don't mention it, people think you don't know what you're talking about. Actually, I don't really know what quantum physics is. I think I will get a short book on it, a thin book. Don't want to make things too complicated. Uh, but I'm now sinking myself into the matter. And one experience that always comes up when I think about quantum physics is when I was young, uh, when I, not too long ago, when I was about 15, 16 years old, I was a member of a club where we did gliding. Gliders that are small planes for one or two people without an engine. Hmm? So as they don't have an engine, you have to find a way to get them into the air before you can fly them. So there are two ways. One is with another plane which, but that has an engine, which we didn't do. Uh, the second possibility is with a winch. And I explained that in a moment. That was what we did. So the planes were uh, stored somewhere in town in a big hall on a hangar, disassembled on hangars, and at the weekend we just took the hangars uh, and drove out into the fields uh, in the forest outside of town, assembled the planes, put them on one side of a big field, one kilometer long, and a big truck with a winch on the other side of the field. So the winch was a 250 horsepower, eight cylinder Chevy engine, something like that, with a steel rope, one kilometer steel rope, and that steel rope was pulled to the other side, side, to the other end of the field, hooked into a plane, and then reeled in. And the plane went up uh, 80 to 100 kilometers per hour speed for a few seconds, and then it was three, 400 meters high, and then automatically the the rope disengaged and uh, disengaged and gently glided back to the floor on a small parachute. To pull this rope from one end to the of the field to the other, we used small cars. And I'm now moving closer to the topic of quantum mechanics, quantum physics. Small cars, old cars, VW Beetles. You know, they were not allowed on the street anymore. We were not allowed on the street either because we didn't have a license. Uh, but we used these cars and we drove these cars and we loved it. That's where we learned to drive. Oh, it was fun. So you pulled this rope from one side to the other, and when the planes landed, they also we also used the the cars to pull back the planes uh, to where they belonged for the next start. Very slow because pilot had to hold the wing, also uh, with the rope attached. Twenty kilometers, not much. Second gear. Eh? So so far so good. One problem or not problem, rather a hassle, uh, it took hours to assemble and disassemble the, uh, the planes and go back to, to town. So sometimes uh, on, the, on the weekend we decided to stay up. So instead of disasse disassembling the planes, we pulled them into a small hollow near the tree, secured them, put up a tent and slept overnight. Fire, everything was great, huh? great experience. The younger ones huh? without a family. Um, yeah. Uh, also the cars, yeah, about the cars. So uh, during the daytime we actually were confined to the purpose of pulling ropes and planes at slow speed. At night there was no such limitation. So some people uh, well they drove around. We drove around with these cars and it was amazing what uh, these cars still had in them in terms of power. Yeah. Mm. Uh, problem, sometimes in the morning these cars had dents that weren't there in the evening. Mm. So some of the grown-ups now assumed that somebody was driving these cars at night uh, and that was not allowed. Uh, and the bigger problem was uh, something could happen. Uh, something could get damaged. So they were very worried about that issue because 
uh, we couldn't even get insurance for that because the cars weren't supposed to drive off the field. So if somebody drove through the woods, uh, uh, damage some fence, we have to fix it. If somebody runs over somebody, injures somebody or it's himself, uh, we can close shop because it costs so much money, we can pay and so on and so on. Uh, so at some point they said, we can't stay overnight anymore. Huh? So if this doesn't stop, we have to go home every evening, come up every morning, no matter how long it takes. One young guy then came up, huh, and he had a theory, he was studying physics. Huh? So he had a theory uh, about these dents, and he explained to all of us that the atoms, and we are now fully full in quantum physics at this moment, um, uh, the atoms, they, they, they vibrate, they oscillate uh, around a certain zero point. And most of the time, I mean everywhere, not just in cars, in trees and flowers and here. So and usually these uh, movements of the atoms cancel each other out and everything looks stable and firm. Huh? Yeah. Uh, but if uh, all the atoms suddenly at one point oscillate in one direction, then the car actually could move in that direction, would move in that direction and could hit a tree, for example, in the process. Huh? And then the atoms oscillate back in the same direction and the car moves back. Huh? A little bit of a stretch maybe, I mean, what are the odds that the the atoms move back in the same direction. But anyway, there is some logic to it. You can't, add, add, it could be, you huh? can't argue with logic. Huh? But the grown ups didn't pick up on that. Uh, was a, uh, it, it, it dragged on a little bit, and uh, I don't know exactly anymore how it ended. It ended amicably, uh, even though dance kept appearing. Mm. And nobody observed anything unusual overnight. Uh, but I feel, and I'm, I'm sure actually, if you had known more about quantum physics at that time, we could have made a much stronger case. So, because of that, I'm going to add quantum physics uh, to my lectures. So, if you have any Questions? Any ideas? Anything you want me to talk about in the context of quantum physics? Don't hesitate. Ask a question, comment, whatever. So far? So good? Have a nice day. Please check back.